What's up guys, it's Lee San, and today I've got an update on back market. Um, super disappointed because uh, it really they really they've really increased the prices on everything and um, the reason is because of additional sales tax that they added. So what it was like before, and I'll show you on my computer in a second, is that they included sales tax with the price of the phone um, originally. So if you bought like an iPhone XR, like if you saw the price of an iPhone XR or XS, whatever model, Android, for like, you know, let's say like if you saw an iPhone XR for like 205, you'd pay 205 plus their like service fee of like three bucks. So end up being like 208, right? Sales tax is all by itself now and it's just an addition to the phone. So you're still going to be paying the same price for the phone, but additional sales tax. So. If that iPhone XR is for 205, you're paying the extra three dollars for uh, service fee, and then you're probably going to be you're going to be paying an extra whatever percent sales taxes in your state. So that iPhone XR is actually going to be more like 220, and it's really disappointing because that's why I love back market before it. They didn't have that crazy sales tax like every other uh, phone um, used phone seller had. Um, and there isn't anything super exciting about back market anymore. I've always encouraged people to buy used phones and I still encourage that. I just think there are better ways to save money than back market now. Um, I think my suggestion now is to shop on Gazelle because they, they now have better deals. Uh, they still have that sales tax, but their prices on their phones are actually lower, especially if you're getting a phone that's locked to a specific carrier. And like I said in my previous video, especially if you have AT&T, they've got great deals like the iPhone 12 that I bought a while back. I got that for, I think it was like 278 plus $20 for sales tax. So it came out to be like 304 and I got some like additional coupons and stuff. Um, so that was really good. So 300 bucks for an iPhone 12. I mean, it's, you can't really get much better than that. Even if it's locked, it's a great deal. So I think I, I suggest you shop on Gazelle instead. And we can compare the two on my computer in a second. I'm not 100% sure the reason why back market added that. I feel like they were losing some profits and they saw what everybody else was doing. And so they raised prices, but who knows? Um, I still love that they have uh, free shipping and the shipping is super fast. So if you like fast shipping, if you like to get that phone quick, if you know you want like, you know, a good quality phone, I would still shop on back market. If you want to be a little more risky, I mean, I do Gazelle, but so far I haven't had any issues with Gazelle. The only thing I don't like about it is um, they don't have a whole ton of options. You don't know who the vendors are. I think they just sell it as themselves. You know, they don't tell you who it's coming from or anything. Um, whereas Back Market has like, you know, ratings for everything. They've got a bunch of ratings. They have so many. If they've got... Uh, they, they've got a lot more data showing you, you know, what you're going to end up getting. So all those ratings, all those vendors, everything. So back market, I like that about that. But um, Gazelle, you know, you're going to be a little, risking a little more. But And then the shipping, like it takes, I'd say like seven to nine days for free shipping. And if you're going to get, if you want it in like five days, they say three days, you're probably going to get it in five days. It's, I think, an extra 18 bucks, so. Shipping isn't great. Their logistics isn't great, but um, they've got good deals. And so far, I've only seen good quality phones from them. I've only talked about Gazelle and Back Market just because those are the two places I I mostly buy my phones from. If you have other places that you know of that you want to suggest to uh, in the comments below, uh, I'd really appreciate it. I'm sure all the other people who are watching this video would appreciate it. Uh, so feel free to do that as well. So um, now that we've talked about that, let's let me actually show you what's happening. You can see it for yourself. Um, and we can kind of take a look at it together. So this is what it looks like on my computer. I am gonna show you like an iPhone 11 Pro right now, the price of it. So if you look right now, I don't know how clear it is, but right now I used one and they're saying it's a good deal is 386. Whereas before I could get it, and this was literally like a week and a half ago, I could get it for $315. And if I press buy, Um, then I'm going to go to cart 
and it's going to come out to be $421. And I used to pay $315 in total. So that's how crazy the pricing is. I'll show you like, you know, an 11 Pro that I purchased a couple weeks ago and the difference in price. So I'm trying to hide the other stuff on here, but this is what it would look like. This is what it, this is what it looked like on uh, February 7th, I guess, you know, when I ordered this phone. These two, I ordered two iPhone 11 Pros. Uh, total came out to be 636, and if you divide that by two, it'd be about 315. That's the total. Um, so, again, price went up like crazy. I'd be paying 420 bucks now, so... And that's, that's, they're saying that's the good deal. All right, guys, so now we're on the Gazelle website. Um, their, like, user interface, I guess, it's not amazing. So if I look up, like, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 11 Pro, for some reason, it'll only show the Pro Max. Um, so if I look it up. This is one of the super annoying things is it'll only show the Pro Max. So what you have to do is go into this sidebar right here and scroll down to iPhones. Actually, you have to go up here to iPhones and then scroll down and try to find the iPhone model. So I'm looking for an 11 Pro, so I have to scroll all the way down. And now it'll show me the Pro models, not the Pro Max, just the Pro. So, again, yeah, user interface isn't great, but um, they've got good products. So, if I type in iPhone 12, it'll actually so, show the 12. So, iPhone 12. I can't press enter, I guess. Um, so, it'll show the iPhone 12. And they've, they've got pretty good, decent prices. Like I said, I'd probably stick with a carrier model, so if you... Like, I wouldn't get the unlock because if you're looking for like an unlocked iPhone 12, it's going to be 370 whereas if you're getting a T-Mobile one, right now they're only selling for 313 So there's a big difference in price. Um, so I'd stick with the unlocked. Um, another thing is they've got good discount codes, and I'm going to include them. But again, don't create... Um, I've mentioned this before, but don't create an additional account and try to get more discount codes because they're gonna notice that and then d detect it as fraud. I tried doing that about a week ago and um, kind of a, created a mess for me and I had to wait a couple days to be able to buy uh, another phone from them. So be careful on that. Um, but they've got good deals. I'd stick with the good or excellent condition. I haven't tried their uh, fair condition. And I think they're reputable because I bought a lot of phones from them. So it's, I've gotten probably at least 10 phones from them. They're good phones, haven't had to return them at all, so. All right guys, so that's about it. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you got something out of it. Um, if you if you have any more information, if you've done some of your own research and you got some things that might be helpful, feel free to share that in the comment section. If you like the video, um, I'd appreciate a like. If you, if you wanna watch some more videos, uh, I'd, I'd, also, I'd, I'd also appreciate a uh, subscribe. Um, but again, that was about it. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.